Hey, what is going on guys? This is Jago back again with another video. And today, I would like to address the uh, resetting of thousands of players, some innocent, some not. Um, over the new or like recent uh, property money glitch, there was a property money glitch going around and a lot of people got reset uh, for all their characters and all their stuff that they've ever earned over the past seven years. Um, just completely gone and reset, so I thought as a member of the GTA Online community, I would give my input on it and what I think about it. And just overall, what I what I just think of Rockstar's situation now and the, what they've put themselves in. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. So first off, I'd like to say, back in 2013, 2014, if you were caught doing money glitches or doing DNS codes or whatever on Xbox 360, I, I had billions and billions of dollars at one point. And all they did back in that day, whether no matter how you got your glitched or modded or hacked money, they would just take the money and just leave you with either no money or like 500k in my case. I had like $7 billion at one point and they just took it away and left me with $500,000 instead of resetting my account that I actually worked hard for. Now back in that day, there was no oppressors. Like I said, I think it was 2013, 2014 they did that. Uh, you know, I only you can only own one property at a time, one house, one all that. So uh, there really wasn't much they could take away if they did take it away. But still, it was a much easier process to go through. You didn't have to make a new character or anything like that. You didn't lose seven years of progress. This is coming from a rock star fanboy. I I, I guess I would uh, declare myself as one of those fanboys, but. The past few months they've been they've been doing things i i just plain don't agree with the ps5 event they they released the remastered version as i like to call of gta 5 cool it's gonna be on ps5 but why did they even waste the time being there um i don't know i didn't i didn't think it was worth it maybe a remaster gta 4 or an older generation game or something like that would have been much cooler but that is besides the point the point is what they did uh recently resetting thousands of players even some innocent players was just downright ridiculous and just plain out stupid i mean why would they do that those those people whether they were innocent or not could have been playing the game for literally seven years like myself they could have made that gta online player october 1st 2013 and you know we're planning on playing it on next gen even buying the game on next gen and playing it even more there because another thing i mean we can't really blame rockstar for this but the game is gonna have to last us at least another two three years with them resetting innocent players that just really 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 drains just absolute drains the shit out of people and thinking wow you know i worked all this time i don't i don't ever want to play gta 5 ever again i was honestly so worried and concerned about my ps4 account that is completely legit other than the billions of dollars but like i said they took that out i had to hop on playstation and make sure everything was there and the ironic part is all three of my modded accounts with over hundreds of millions of dollars with mod menus in and out of it i'm I know it's going to sound hypocritical, but all those accounts are perfectly fine. <laughs> perfectly fine. They reset the thousands of players, ex exploited a property glitch that was a that was an exploit within the game. That wasn't even them going out of their way getting, you know, modding or like cheating the game in some way. That was just in the game and that was that was Rockstar's fault. What they should have done is just patch the property glitch and just called it a day or patch the property glitch, took out the money that people, you know, gave themselves because it was a really, really profiting money glitch. It was a really easy one to do, too. And I don't, I don't know why they did that. Now, to piggyback on the fact that the game's going to have to come out on next gen, the game is going to have to last us another two, three years. You just ruin the trust of many, many customers, Rockstar. You just ruin the trust. People, you know, that have been playing the game for seven years now don't ever want to look at the game ever again because of what you've done to them, whether it was innocent or not. I mean, but still, all you had to do was just take the money out, not completely reset their characters. So now that, you know, people are reset, People, people want that those things back if they want to play the game ever again, you know? Or people that, you know, that were innocent especially say, hey, 
Uh, you know what? I might try this modding thing out. Whether they're on PC or not, they might tr want to try, you know, the modding thing out and give themselves, you know, a free menu. Pop it in there. Kittians. I haven't been banned using Kittians ever. I've given myself hundreds of millions of dollars. And you know what? They can just pop that in there and use it for themselves and give them hundreds of millions of dollars without ever being banned or reset or anything like that not saying i suggest you use mod menus because you know that does ruin the experience of many many others and yep that might sound hypocritical if you guys know my channel i do modding pretty much all the time so that does sound hypocritical for a game that's gonna have to last another two three years rockstar we need full support of that game rockstar knows that this game makes a lot of money Rockstar knows that, you know, Red Dead isn't making as much money. So by the time this game comes out on next gen consoles, hopefully we're getting, you know, monthly or, you know, bi-monthly updates or just new content constantly. This game is not fully supported. The fact that millions of monitors, millions of monitors probably, I don't know the exact number, but you can go into every online session on PC, you will find a modder. The PC GTA Online is totally broken. It is not something that you can ha you can't have a legitimate time on PC anymore. You can't have a real experience on PC anymore in 2020. It's been like that for probably a year or two now. It's just you can't have a full real experience of GTA Online without being glitched money or modded money, especially on PC. So when you go out your way and reset all these characters and still allow the game to be modded left and right and still expect us to, you know, use this game for another two, three years is just downright disrespectful and you lose my trust, Rockstar. That's just, that's just where, you know, I've been a Rockstar fanboy, I said like at the beginning of the video, but this, I just, I just don't understand this and I just don't like this. I know I'm a modder in the community, I've made modding content for a while now, but um, honestly, I've been trying to get away from that. I don't, I don't really enjoy modding anymore. I do it sometimes here and there. Um, it was a really fun experience at first, but now I just don't really see the point in it, especially because it's ruining this game that I've loved. I mean, absolutely loved this beautiful, ugly, pretty mess of an amazing game. Because just modding, I, I, I know that Rockstar doesn't support the game enough or care enough to to stop the modders. You can get a you can get free menus, you can get paid menus, and nothing will ever happen to your account. And I've I've witnessed that firsthand. I've never got an account permanently banned using mod menus, and I've used three different accounts and probably half a dozen to a dozen mod menus ever. So you might just be calling me hypocritical, but I wish. This is what I truly wished would happen. I wish the game was still fully supported by Rockstar, and I wish modders never existed in the first place. I understand the game is six, seven years old now. It'll literally be seven years old, actually, in a week from the time I'm recording this, so that's actually kind of cool. Um, but still, it should. I wish there was no modders. I wish there was like single player modding, modding support. I think that'd be really nice, like what uh, Bethesda games do, like Fallout. And those kind of cool games but the fact that the game is being modded and rockstar doesn't know well they probably do know but doesn't even care i mean the crazy things you can just do on a mod menu you can literally know someone's rockstar id uh for example a uh a streamer a youtuber and you could crash them you could get their ip from that way it is just insane and disgusting what you can do with these mod menus now and it's truly scary who, who whose hands it can fall into man i know i i have control of myself and i do it for usually video purposes and i don't really grief or do anything like that i just don't find the fun in that and it just feels like an ego trip that i don't want to go on but believe me there has been a lot of little kids on ego trips um you know with their brand new mod menu that have just been wanting to shit on a whole lobby <laughs> but I, and I really wish those people, whether they were on console or PC, that did or did not do the property glitch. I wish they really, I really, really wish they weren't reset. Yes, they were called for doing a glitch, but people mod the game. More people have modded the game than people have done that property glitch and gotten reset for it. To be honest, they should have just taken the money and just called it a day or just patched the glitch and called it a day. 
not lose the trust of thousands of more people that probably won't even buy your game on next gen consoles rockstar's dlc hopefully this winter will be you know kind of setting up the next gen consoles and uh, the release of those hopefully the new dlc this winter will be fun i'm really excited for it it'll be a new location new heist and all that but um you know i just kind of wish that I could experience the game for the very first time again back in 2013 with no modders and all this bullshit. I, I guess we can't blame ourselves or really Rockstar for doing that. This game wasn't really supposed to last literally almost, it's probably going to last, end up lasting 9 to 10 years. And that's just too much for a life cycle of this game. And you got to also remember that this is GTA's second online ever. The first one was GTA 4, which was just a little free roam and bomb to base and team death matches and stuff like that. But no real replayability, unless you're, unless you're playing free mode with your friends, and that was, that was still a lot of fun. GTA Online is no means a masterpiece, but it is definitely more replayable and a hell of a lot of fun to just hop on with your friends. And I still think one of the funnest online experiences that you can have in, in this generation in the last decade one of the funnest online experiences you can have with a group of friends i mean you could just go on a jetpack race and rob a bank and then you know hit up the strip club or hit up some hookers or something like that not that i would recommend that i'm a christian lad but yeah i just wanted to get that shit off my chest that uh you know i really i really disagree with what rockstar has been doing lately in the resetting of thousands of players i mean these guys got to prepare for next gen and all they've told us so far is that um fuck the glitchers we 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 don't care about the modders even if they did care they or have a solution for the modding they haven't showed that they do care and have have the solution for it whether or not they have the solution for it <laughs> i i just wish modding wasn't really a thing in gta um i don't really like it at all but yeah um you know next gen consoles might be fun luckily i wasn't reset um, but I understand that thousands of people that did get reset wrongfully or rightfully um, won't be playing the game anymore. And you lost your trust for Rockstar and as well as I did. Um, I'm one of those people that didn't do the property glitch. But if I lost my account, I would probably never play GTA 5 ever again. And uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully this game just gets more support once it's on next gen consoles. I understand that this current generation of consoles um, is still kicking. Not really uh, <laughs> getting getting through the new casino even but uh hopefully when next gen consoles come out uh hopefully it's more supported and because this game it needs full support there's still new content to be made it just needs full support whether or not it's on console or pc no mods mods whatever we need new content to be waiting for gta 6 which is hopefully the next installment of rockstar games we still don't have we still don't have a trailer but uh, anytime soon now, Rockstar, anytime soon. Uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. I just had to get that shit off my chest. Uh, shout out uh, Odell Beckham Jr., OBJ. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.